welcome to 49ers and 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I am Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. The Niners announced yesterday they are bringing back a familiar face. Wide receiver Trent Taylor has been signed to a one-year deal. Taylor was originally a fifth-round draft pick in Kyle Shanahan's first draft with the 49ers. He played three years in San Francisco before heading to Cincinnati and then finishing last year with the Chicago Bears. In the three years Trent Taylor has been gone from the 49ers, he has a grand total of just eight catches. I would imagine he's primarily going to be on the team as a potential punt return candidate, maybe a kick return candidate. As a wide receiver, I just think the 49ers roster is in a different place than it was in 2017. There was a spot for him then when they were trying to build this thing back up. Now, not quite sure Trent Taylor has what it takes to make the team, but we will see. He was very close with George Kittle, so we know George is obviously going to be very, very happy. And how about this note from Matt Barrows on Twitter? This is phenomenal. Every single fifth-round draft pick from the Shanahan Lynch era is still in the NFL, whether they were picked, obviously, last year, whether they were picked way back in 2017. Every fifth-round pick is still an active player in the league somewhere. It's absurd. Look at this list. George Kittle. Diamondor Lenore, Trent Taylor, DJ Reed, Dre Greenlaw, Colton McKivitz, Jalen Moore, Talanoa Hufanga, Sam Womack, Darrell Luter Jr., and Robert Beal Jr. That is incredible. And I get it. They're not all superstars. No team has a bunch of superstars coming out of the fifth round. But I bet you there is not one other team in the entire NFL that can say every fifth round pick we've made in our regime is still in the league somewhere. That speaks to the incredible ability of the 49ers front office to find solid players later in the draft. Now, they've lost a lot of those front office pieces recently, so hopefully that can continue. But that is an incredible, incredible accomplishment. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Wednesday, The Athletic has an awesome story by Alec Lewis that takes a deep dive into the NFL draft process. Basically, he comes to one conclusion. NFL teams are doing the draft wrong, and they know it. Why do they do it anyway? you want to read it, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, Brock Purdy spent about 25 minutes on the Pat McAfee show yesterday. Most of it was typical Brock Purdy speak, but there was one really cool story about how Brock saved a reporter's life from a giant coyote. If you want to watch that, again, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing you may have missed, Caitlin Clark is taking on the NFL in a very specific way. She was just the number one overall pick in the WNBA draft this week. Michael Rubin, the CEO of Fanatics, says that Caitlin Clark's Indiana Fever jersey sold more on draft night than any player in any sport in the company's history. That is incredible. Good for Caitlin Clark. Good for the WNBA, and I will be fascinated to see if her star power carries over now that she's a professional and, of course, once the NFL season gets going. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click the bell, you will get notified every single time we go live, which is every single weekday for you. Today, I will be live with Grant Cohn, 9 a.m. Pacific time. We'll talk about Ayuk. We'll react to the latest 49ers mock drafts. We may even talk a little Brock Purdy on Pat McAfee. Please join us for that. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today. 